Mission San Juan Capistrano is known as the jewel of the California missions. It's a beautiful mission located in the town of San Juan Capistrano in the southern part of Orange County near the Pacific Ocean, in between Los Angeles and San Diego. It was the seventh mission out of 21 built by the Spanish. Mission San Juan Capistrano was founded twice. The first founding father was Father Lawson, who came with the other missionaries to start construction in October 1776. Three days later, they had to leave because there was a revolt by the Native Americans at Mission San Diego de Alcala, and several people were killed. Father Lawson was worried that they would be attacked and the mission would be destroyed, so he buried the bells and crosses. One year later, Father Junipero Serra, who was the head of the mission, all the missionaries in Alta California, came back to rebuild the mission. He dug up the bells and crosses and formally dedicated Mission San Juan Capistrano on All Saints Day, November 1st, 1776. They started building the Great Stone Church in 1797 because the people of Mission, Mission needed a bigger church. The old church was a small adobe chapel that they used since being founded by Father Sarah and it could not hold all the Native Americans who came to worship. The Hotchman men and the Spanish soldiers built a new church called the Great Stone Church. They hauled large stones to the site from the mountains and used modar to keep the stones together. It took nine years to build the church and it was finished in 1806. Six years later, tragedy struck. In December 1812, a 7.0 earthquake happened during morning service and the church collapsed on the people inside. Forty people died when stone blocks fell on them. After the disaster, the fathers did not want to rebuild the church so that everyone in the mission could remember their loss. They moved back to the Adobe Chapel, which is called the Father Sarah Chapel. Mission San Juan Capistrano is about 10 acres, which is the size of eight football fields. The longitude is 33 degrees north, and the latitude is 117 degrees west. It is located between two mountain ranges, Santa Ana to the west and San Joaquin to the east, and is surrounded by mountains, water, trees, and meadows. San Juan Capistrano doesn't get much rainfall, so it gets fresh water from three nearby creeks, the Jorona, the Tabuco, and San Juan. Spanish soldiers and Indians built long channels called aqueducts or sanjas that brought water to the missions for drinking, farming, and cooking. San Juan Capistrano is known for its beautiful gardens which have ropes, bushes, palm trees, salvia, water lilies, and a lot of trees, flowers, and shrubs. There are many native plants near Mission San Juan Capistrano including Ceanothus, California poppy, Iris de Glaciana, Panstemon lemonade, berry, sugar bush, big cone spruce, and incense cedar. The most important wildlife are the swallows that made the mission famous. Swallows are small songbirds that migrate from Argentina every March, 2,000 miles away from San Juan Capistrano. The legend of the swallows start with Father John O'Sullivan, who was the pastor of Mission San Juan Capistrano from 1910 through 1933. He rescued the swallows from the shopkeepers in town who thought they were pests, and he gave them a home at the mission. Every year, the birds return on March 19th, and there's a festival called Swallows Day to celebrate their homecoming. The main tribe of the Native Americans at San Juan Capistrano was the Hachiman, which the Spanish renamed Waino. The Waino were nomadic, which means they lived in one area and moved their entire community around to follow herds or food. They lived in dome-shaped houses called Quicho, where they made Will and Tuli. After the Hachiman Indians joined Mission San Juan Capistrano, they had to adapt to their Spanish culture, and they forgot their own. Many of them learned how to speak Spanish. One thing we like about our mission model is the antiquing of our model. And of course the f landscaping of our model. But our favorite thing is the gardens. Our first favorite fun fact is there's going to be a Ghost Hunters about Mission San Juan Capistrano on January 30th, 2014 to talk about ghost stories and see if they're haunted. Today there is a petting zoo and koi fish ponds, and you can pan for gold. You can have sleepovers in the graveyards at Mission San Juan Capistrano. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching our, to our oral <laughs> report. <laughs>